microwave versus phone test one. How long do you think, John? Uh, 45 seconds. Oh, that is old. Yes, I told you. Weird. Start, bottom right. Oh, smoking. Oh. <laughs> Holy. Ah, dang. I got oh. Candy. Right oh. Uh, oh my goodness, it's on fire. He's on fire, burning hot, hot, hot. So it doesn't take 45 seconds to ruin a phone in a microwave. Nope. Careful when you open it, it smells bad in there. Yeah, it's pouring out the bottom. But you know what? We have safety equipment. Phone's done, Andy. <laughs> Is this the button open? Yeah. Oh, black smoke. Don't breathe that. Oh, obviously. There you go. It's not. Hold on. Look at all of this black stuff. Ooh. Andy, I wonder if it still works. Just kidding. It probably does. Really? Yeah, but the screen's shot, so we'll never be able to tell. That's true. Here, let me get a picture. Okay. Let's put it on baked potato and see what happens. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> and baked potato is up there, bottom. Oop, and start. First it calibrates it, then it baked potatoes it. <laughs> Sensor cooking. Ooh! Did it arc? Yeah. Ooh, that time it arced. Oh, we're getting the flames in there. So you can tell when it's passing through an actual microwave beam. Yeah. Ugh. So if you have a small piece of food like that, you can tell it's only getting cooked when it hits those corners. That's why you gotta put it on the edge of the tray. Oh! Get a mouthful of it. I've got a nose full of it. Uh, sensory cook. Baked potato kills everything. Especially baked potatoes if you forget to put a fork in them, so they're bad. This, ladies and gentlemen, was why you should always put a fork in your baked potato before you put it in the microwave. And why you should never forget that your cell phone was in your hand while you were doing it. I just hope it doesn't ruin the microwave. <laughs> Got a lot of black smoke seeping out of the microwave, Andy. Ooh. Like four inch flames off the phone. <laughs> Can't see anything in there anymore because of the smoke. Ooh. Ooh, we're really getting a lot of smoke now. <laughs> oh! Did your microwave die or is it done? Noise. Here, you're the safety guy. I'm not allowed to be the safety guy anymore. Here, oh, that's a. <laughs> Is the plate hot? I don't know. I'm not leaving my hand on it long. Yes, it's oh. hot. It's going through the glove. Oh my goodness. Oop. Glass is fine. I just heard glass crack. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's still a solid sheet. Yeah. Even though that was the damaged part of the phone. Everything else, however, looks like a s'more that got flipped too long. Oh, that is not good. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> that just jumped off 
top of it and Ooh. it's cooling. Oh, the glass splintered. Is it cracked? Yeah. The glue got so hot the glass came off. Show it in front of the camera. Is it on the camera? Oh yeah, I can still see it. But I'm gonna come up here. Well guys, if you ever need to replace your screen, you could just stick it in the microwave for about potato. Yeah, and then it just falls off. Just as easy as this. Battery is intact. Sort of. Flip it over. Oh. It, it, technically, it's, it's not exposed. Oh man, did I have an SD card in there? Just kidding, I took it out. Let's try the bend test. That's more like a crinkle test? Yeah, that's a failure. Ooh. Andy, how am I ever going to get this plastic out of here? i got to use this tonight. <laughs> I suggest you go buy a new one. I would not cook anything, well, I would not eat anything we cook in there. Hey, you know that trick where you put vinegar in the microwave to clean it? You think that'll work? It might. Does it take out platinum? <laughs> I don't think it takes up that much carbon. Look at the screen. <laughs> it's opaque. <laughs> you and starting fires, Andy. Just so you can really see in there.